didn't plan for the cooking classes. I didn't plan it to run on Pulau, but it just happened. Uh, one day, my friend, my good friend Geraldine said, come with me, come to Pulau Ubin, come accompany me. So I decided to accompany her to visit Kamaria because she said, come and see this old kampung house. I said, okay, fine, I'll come with you. So I came to see the kampung house, met Kamaria, and when I came here, I was just like blown away by the whole the environment. I was just thinking, oh my God, wouldn't it be wonderful if I could hold a cooking class here? So I went to Kamaria and asked her, Kamaria, do you mind if I hold a cooking class here? And she said, yes, why not? So you're going to chop it up. Did you chop it up like that? And after that, you start to pump. When I decided to do the cooking class in this kampung house, I really wanted a Malay theme to go with the whole Malay kampung thing. So I decided on doing a nasi lemak class. Then when I was here during the second class, I met Kamaria's uncle who had just come back from around the jungle. And he come back with a bag of herbs and I asked him, what is it you have in your bag? And he said, oh, these are herbs. And I asked him, where did you get them from? He said, oh, it's just all over in the jungle. And I asked him, would you show me? And he said, yes, I'll show you where the herbs are found. So he took me around, he showed me all the different herbs and Kamaria's sister, Samsi, also explained to me how different herbs did different things. Uh, just, just an example, we have a herb that grows around which is called wild pepper leaf. And this wild pepper leaf is actually good for headache and body ache and toothache. And then there's another leaf here which is found which is Ulam Raja. It's really very high in calcium. So if you are lactose intolerant, this herb is just perfect for you. So when, when I realized about all the wonderful herbs that I, that I found here, I decided that I should change the menu to make it to make use of what is available. So I do a, a dish called nasi karabu, which is the herb rice, and we use all these different herbs from here, about 30 different kinds of herbs. And to complement it, I teach uh, sambal blachan kumis, which is like a chili paste, to give it a bit of a nice kick to the nasi karabu. Uh, prawns, butter prawns. I started the butter prawns because there used to be a prawn farm here. So during my first few classes, we would all go to the prawn farm, buy the fresh prawns, bring it back and then do the cooking. Sadly, the prawn farm has closed down, but I thought the menu is nice, so I still stick to the black pepper prawns or the butter prawns that I teach. And to finish it up, we do um, ice kacang because there's a machine here. Kamari has a beautiful old machine. We put ice there, we shave the ice, we put in a bowl, put all the little things inside, put syrup and we have it and it just completes the whole experience. My students are just an eclectic mix of people. I have tourists, I have expats, I have locals, I have students, I have teachers. It's just a combination of people and most of the people who come for the class are very appreciative uh, of, of keeping, preserving uh, all things preserving heritage so they also know that it's not just a cooking class it's also about getting a feel of what life was like in the 60s we're playing with five flavors hot bitter sour salty we've got hot and bitter here do i plan to bring this to the mainland it's not the same on the mainland the idea is to be on this wonderful island to, to get the whole experience of the island to feel the old thing so i do classes on the mainland but there are different classes. I rather keep this Nasi Karabu class just for Pulau Ubin because it's not just the cooking class. It's like I said, it's just the feel of it. It's the soul of it. Um, so I rather just keep this on Pulau Ubin for the time being.